My name is Hossein Abbas. I am the founding editor in chief for the IEEE transactions on artificial intelligence. I will be talking to you about how to write an impact statement. The transaction on artificial intelligence requires that each paper must have an impact statement. So let me explain to you what is an impact statement, why it is needed, give you some tips on the do and do not, then share with you an example of an impact statement. Let us start. What is an impact statement? It is an evidence-based, scientific, concise, and accurate statement of the wider implication of the work, of the consequences, answering the so what about the work. So why this is important? What is the implication of what you've done? How is it going to improve the world? How it's going to help people in the street? How is it going to help the society or production or uh, business? Each of the key words in this definition represents one of the criteria we use to evaluate the appropriateness of the impact statement. They will define the do and do not when writing an impact statement that we will be discussing on the following slide. So why an impact statement? It's about sharing the implication of the work with the wider society. We so often write our papers to be read by a small number of academics in our field. Writing about the implication of our work, whether it is theoretical, experimental, applied, whether it is abstract uh, or not, it helps us to connect what we do with the wider academic and professional society. Writing an impact statement is about writing to influence outside the sphere of our classical academic cohort. We normally seek citations from our academic colleague on our work. One way to increase citations is to make academics in other fields, fields that are quite different from our own field, to understand what we are doing in our field. When they understand it, they can use it in their own field, and they might even come back to us asking to collaborate on a multidisciplinary topic. Writing an impact statement is about displaying social responsibility. It's part of responsible research and ethics. Our social responsibility demands that our papers need to reach the taxpayers who are funding the education system and the research we do. We need to communicate our contribution to the wider society to allow common people to understand the value of the science that we are producing. So let me now switch to the do and do not. Do start with a practical problem space where your solution will or could be used. For example, you could start by saying something like, AI systems are used in the court to assess the risk of a criminal to repeat the crimes. These systems have been found to be biased. We are proposing a solution to this problem. You could see in this example that the application domain became quite clear. Be objective and state your Big Bang contribution with facts and evidence. Quantify the performance against the baseline. You need to quantify the contribution of your heuristic algorithm, method, or methodology. For example, you could say something like, 
while our system still has a residual bias. We have reduced the probability for the system to generate a biased decision from 30% down to 1%. Now let us talk about the do not. Do not repeat the abstract. There is no point of just copying exactly the same statements from the abstract into the impact statement. The abstract is written to people in your field. The impact statement is written to the wider audience. Do not use glorious adjectives and make claims that are larger than the actual contribution. For example, if you say something like, our system is the best unbiased system with fantastic abilities to do lots of good things. Let us reflect a little bit about that. What does this actually mean? These are glorious adjectives, but the information contents of this statement is extremely low, if it exists at all. Do not make claims with subjective statements alone. Do not just conclude by saying our system is better than the state of the art. Quantify that. Give evidence how much better, when is it going to work, and when it is not. So let us see now an example of an impact statement that I have highlighted it into different colors. Well, each color correspond to a subsection title on the left-hand side. For example, about the application space, the first sentence is, chatbots are a popular technology in online interaction. Now, the reader understands what the technology is about and what is the application. They reduce the load on human support teams and offer continuous 24-7 support to customers. This is about the, the importance of the, of the application. However, now we are getting into the problem. Recent usability research has demonstrated that 30% of customers are unhappy with current chatbots due to their poor conversational capabilities and inability to emotionally engage customers. This is a problem. So what is the technology? The natural language algorithms we introduced in this paper overcame this limitation. This is the AI technology in use. Now, with a significant increase in user satisfaction to 92% after adopting our algorithms, the technology is ready to support users in a wide variety of applications, including government front shops, automatic tailors, and the gaming industry. What I have done in this statement is I talked about the objective and I provided quantitative evidence to support the contribution of the paper. It could offer an alternative way of interaction for some physically disabled user. This is what I would call reasonable speculation. So it is a logical speculation that takes the work out of the context of this work in this particular paper to other type of applications that it could be useful for. You will see a website on the top of this slide. This example is available in the information for authors to the transaction on AI. I look forward to receiving your paper in the transaction of AI and I look forward reading your impact statement.